what's up so i got some news i got some things i'm gonna do to my car um a whole bunch of my friends just pulled up we're gonna work on each other's car to, together and this video is gonna be a little bit everywhere but i'm gonna do some stuff on my car which i will mainly post and then i'll touch base here and there with my friends in their cars all right so we got zach my car michael brought his fenders and hood to put on the beamer go for a ride in his fucking g bro and then um i never found a g like that Heaven's car is somewhere over there, or right there. Um, but Augustus, he just manual swapped his IS. It has a W58 in it. It's freshly built. He has a wheel that I wanted to buy, but the guy for me, he wouldn't go down in price. But Augustus got the MB battles for. Augustus, how much you get the wheels for? Like five fifty? Yeah, five fifty. If, yeah, like the, the guy wouldn't even drop, so that's why I bought those. But I wanted these. These ones are really nice, exactly what I wanted. But whatever. Yeah, I guess this is gonna take me for a ride. And his, he just swapped his. Like right as soon as I swapped mine. All right, before we go for a ride in Augustus's um, freshly Amanda swapped IS 300, we have to roll the fenders because it is eating well i told him to cut it like in my car because it's eating the tires and then um i'm gonna fail his clutch pedal because we he thinks he might need to adjust it we'll see my car um i'm gonna lower the front also i'm gonna put in the the harnesses as well and also so remember when i said my oil light was hanging on my rpms weren't working well come to find out the factory manual dash i put in from when i crashed my factory manual is 300 it it just shorted out and nothing's really working so i put in the one that came in the car the automatic one oil lights off and it revs up like the rpms move up and down so the speed don't work the speedometer so i need to get a wheel speed sensor and it should be good hopefully but yeah, that's basically what I have to do to that car, and then maybe it might be on the road this week or next. That's not clutch, but... Wait, that's not clutch. No, that is. That's clutch. Oh, that's that wax burning off of that clutch. You know how brakes when you get brand new brakes? Yeah. That's what I think that is. Now Mike's taking off the hood, <laughs> and then I guess this, I taped up his fender so we can cut it. Um, and then he has to do the other side, and then he's also going to cut the brake pedal. And then I'm going to go do my harnesses. All right, I'm going to cut his fenders because he don't want to. I'm scared. I'm scared too. It's not my car. I love these wheels so much, Michael. His hood is off now. And then, <coughs> if I was him, I would do the fenders and then put the new hood no, on. Twins, no hood. All right, so I have to take the seats out. And for this um, harness, or 
basically this part of the harness, sorry. I might have to drill into my car. But I will be taking out the factory seat belts. So gonna get right to it. In the hole, there we go. That one's in with a spacer because my ass got a long bolt. Still doing it. Whatever, just take that bolt out, get a smaller bolt. Because this right now. Found one. Is that better? Oh, yeah. And then Mike's over here. Johnny, this is still the old Fender? Yeah. Yeah, I know Fenders, Fenders. I know Fenders are a pain in the ass. Oh shit. Right now we're getting a little baseline. All right, this one is done. It's set to my body right now, but I'll loosen it up. But we had to put it here because down there wasn't working. So yeah. Now tomorrow I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, you're doing it tomorrow? Yeah. It looks good how it is. My part. All right, I guess this has the fenders cut. My dad did better than me. <laughs> and you cut the brake pedal, right? Yeah. Oh, you got more room than I do. And now he is adjusting his clutch pedal. And then Mike. <laughs> Mike, I believe. Mike, is that the new fender, right? See. <laughs> all right all right so i got the driver's seat out because i have to scoot it forward but these aren't lining up again so i'm just going to drill a hole so i can put it all the way on the last one all right, so i drilled holes in the bottom now i'm drilling a hole in here make this bigger not this part because now it don't line up for some reason i don't know Alright, so I drilled a hole on this bracket itself. So now it's good. And now I took out the factory seat belts. Already mounted this up, changed the, the bolt, and put in the seat, and then see where I have to drill just like that side. Somewhere over here. I got everything in. I haven't tested it out yet to sit in and then form it to my body, but the seat is in it's a lot more forward. Not bad. It's pretty good. I like it. This is a little too close, but whenever I get the uh, aftermarket steering wheel, the hub adapter quick release should be good, but I want to swing it so bad. When Augustus drove it the other day, yeah, I'm sweating. These, the hardest thing to do to do on this car were the seats. I honestly thought that would be the easiest, <sighs> but when Augustus drove it, he was kind of beating on it and was taking it. And I know you're supposed to like like let the clutch break in like within 500 miles where you start it, drive it around, turn it off, like cool up, cool down period or heat up cool down period and then 500 miles you can drive it and beat on it 
All right, she's all in, ready to go. She's fit to my body. And I did tighten it up more in the back. So if somebody does want to drive the car, um, there's so like I maxed out the tightness or I should say I maxed it out right here. So it can't go any tighter and it fits me perfectly. So um, actually I should probably loosen that up or make that tighter in the back and then have a lot of play because there's somebody skinnier than me, but nobody's really skinnier than me. I think, I think, I think it'll be okay. If not, we can adjust it whenever we get there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she's all good to me right now. Feels pretty good. Can't wait for the uh, hub adapter to come in. It comes in so freaking late. I ordered it with everything. Like all this, I ordered it with that. And it's coming in January 28th, 27th or something like that. It's so far away. Like I ordered the steering wheel, the quick release from NRG and the hub adapter from NRG. And the quick release came in like two days and that hub adapter is coming in like three months, technically. <sighs> so stupid, but um, we did get a different radio for the car. So we had to mess with that. Um, I got different door speakers. I got different rear speakers. So all that is left to do is radio speakers she's good so the car might be legal and on the road um hopefully next week oh and also i gotta do the alignment on the car and i have to put a muffler in the rear i like how loud it is but whenever you get on it it's so raspy so i'm gonna put this muffler on it and hopefully it quiets it down a lot and I do, it did come with a spare cat. So just in case if it is too loud, possibly I can put the cat on there. But I think it'll be okay with just a muffler on it. I don't even know what that muffler sounds like. So we will see. Apparently the guy that I got it from, my sponsor with the stickers, apparently he said it sounded pretty good and it was still loud with the cat. So we'll see. Maybe my loud is different than his loud. But yeah, it's all done. I was gonna go drive it, but Come on, the sun is going down. So I guess I'll put um, the stock wheels on in the rear and then tomorrow I will go drive it and swing it just a tad bit, not too much. Cause like I said, the clutch is not broken in yet. So yeah, that's about it for just this video. And it was a little bit random everywhere, jumped a day or two. So hope you guys enjoyed and the next video should be this car sideways.